My nigga, you are muted. You are very much muted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the War Report. I am your host, Muted Cyrus, uh, joined <laughs> by Quan. This is a show where we talk about AEW and NXT 2.0. Question mark. Um. Yeah, it's uh, a wonderful <laughs> week. Yeah, I have nine else besides that, but it's been a wonderful week. Uh, in wrestling, uh, very toned down, very uh, slowed down from last week, you know. Uh, the storm is over, yeah, nothing's really going on in uh, social media. Um, I mean, it's all fine, and uh, Danny, I am very grateful for the change of pace, um, in wrestling news because now I can just really take a fucking step back and not have my eyes glued uh for content for the show um last week was exhausting a lot of a lot of wrestling content i had to consume and Mm -hmm. you know take in and it was very nice this week has been very calm i appreciate that um but more importantly than that um monday was my birthday man 32 the big three two the big magic johnson the big shaquille o'neal um <laughs> last time you didn't want to claim last time you didn't want to claim the uh I know, <laughs> to I know. Magic Johnson. That's not fair to Magic. Shout out to Magic Johnson. Uh, you, you, you must have saw you must have saw winning time where Yee-hoo. that boy was yeah, what? fucking that boy, all, wow. those, all, all that like <laughs> they made it seem like all his life was this fuck yo. That's all it was. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Birthday was chill, real, real relaxed. I didn't do anything. I, I've been on a uh, a staycation. I'm a big advocate of using your PTO. I had no plan. I was like, I'm not working. This, I'm I'm not working most this week. I'm going back to work tomorrow. But Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I was like, look, man, I'm taking it off. I'm just chill out, and that's what I've been doing. Hey, um, man. Love that, man. Refre- uh, I feel re- I feel very refreshed. Very refreshed. I I am also will be taking a little vacation, but I will still be here to record. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to not working till like uh. I think like after Sunday, I won't mm-hmm. work until the uh, the month is over. So can't yeah. wait. Yeah. Um, right now, my stomach is killing me, but um, <laughs> everything is all good. You know, I, I, I love this for the wrestling, uh, the wrestling community to relax and chill out, man. But we're going to get in the trenches and talk about the little bit of remnants uh from the media scrum aftermath. I this is probably uh this is this probably, is probably just like kind of uh the calmer uh yeah this is this like the, this is the right aftermath kind of this is the epilogue of whatever the scrum news yeah. was. You know, uh the bombs dropped and what was left just a couple twigs and leaves. <laughs> um so after the all hands on deck meeting prior uh before this scuffle they put together another one. It was just like, all right, that shit ain't worked the first time. No, nah, clearly you niggas wasn't hearing us. <laughs> but this, but this was a different. This is like when like your team yeah. is at all. It was like when the basketball team's on like a ten game losing streak, and they have the uh, mm-hmm. the player meeting. This is this is what this one was. Yeah, um, and I then believe this has a this has a different set of candidates. Uh, instead of like Tony Khan, um. Their legal advisor or legal person, I believe her name is Megan. I don't remember who her last name is. Uh, and then like Kenny Omega. <laughs> um, this is your real locker room leaders, your your, your real your real goons, uh, Moxley, Jericho, and uh, Brian Danielson. Uh, they came together and then just sort of just uh, had a little rah rah, uh, a little all right, man. Let, let's really get it together. We got the fools out the way. <laughs> Anybody else want to act up, man? <laughs> yeah. Um, um, according to the Observer newsletter, um, according to Dave Moxley, Jericho, Brian Danson called a meeting in Buffalo September 7th before the show started. One person stated that it was a, the best backstage meeting the wrestlers have had, and that they realized there was a brand damage done that they had to overcome. Moxley's promo of wanting to be handed the ball and become the legend and take the shot when we were in the fourth quarter of the game and behind did did it have sense of reality to it? Even before the meeting, we were told that the town arrived, knew they had a show to do, and it was business as usual. So it seems like, um, for the most part, everything's back to normal. I mean, not back to normal, but, you know, back to work. 
they the got people the, who, the, the people who were involved the people who are involved in the scuffle you know they're uh they're on their they on got the vacation toxicity suspended. out That's yeah nice. so they got 60 up mm. everything's just chill everything's relaxed so far um we still have no real update on punk status with the um there's no official update with the punk status with the company he did have surgery um i believe with the pectoral surgery correct uh, uh who pectoral punk he had a pectoral surgery Oh yeah, because uh, he torn his shit in the scuffle, right? No, he torn it in the no, match, he, and I think he made he it worse in the match. scuffle. Yeah, he probably made it worse in the scuffle. Um, so I, I believe it's like an eight to nine month recovery if he is still employed by the company, or if you know they make amends by then. Uh, so I he, don't like that. That's that's the, okay. That's something I don't get. Mm-hmm. I don't. Because I just feel like I know that wrestling kind of operates on a different sort of rules than compared to the real world. Um, but um, him coming back is crazy to me. Like the possibility of him actually returning and then just being an active competitor again, as if this did not happen, is kind of nuts. Like I, I know there's like I know there's like a, a bunch of crazy shit that has happened in wrestling in the past Gosh. and stuff like that. But at least during those incidents, there was enough time in between for people to like not even like I'm saying time like it's arbitrary. Years, years, years yeah. Years for bygones to be bygones. And I feel like, you know, punk coming back. I don't even feel like the situation is like, you know resolved so i feel like you know oh punk will just be back in nine months and then you know he'll just not be the way he was or like the elite will like you know come back and then like you know they're completely like fine with like working with everybody again that that was going to be my thing um do we know we have also heard rumors about the young bucks sending out feelers to wwe for all we know, I don't know when their contract is up, but for all we know, they might not be there in nine months. Um, and it mm-hmm. might be, you know, cool for Punk to go back over there. I don't know the relationship between him Punk? and Tony at this point. Uh, what is it? Oh, excuse me. The elite not being there is kind of like, I, I like that's crazy to me, you know. Like that's how, that's how I felt about Cody. I didn't think Cody would do this, and then he did. So, yeah, you know. but it, it, it's just like you know, Punk ran off the people that sort of got this whole thing started. But like his issues did not stop with the elite. It was the elite camp, which is like you know, people that was just on their side. And I doubt the Bucks, you you know, or Kenny is gonna bring everybody with them like everybody else. niggas just going well, who's just everybody say, else the job who else everybody Nakazawa, i mean Zawa, hangman page i know hangman page he could probably like make the jump like as soon as his contract's over but you know nagazawa hangman page cole cabana you know uh the dark order because they like cole cabana you know like yeah. it's more than just the elite you know christopher yeah. daniels you know like it is uh it's a big group of people and then like yeah you got the evps out but i'm sure there's like other people that don't like you and then like i don't feel as if you know the elite leave or the elite can't dissipates right yeah somebody's gonna have problems with punks camp eventually i mean i'm sure people already do at this point um, yeah so like it, it but, might but, the, but the main but the main factor is, it seems like <clears throat> excuse me at least, you know, from a, a visual perspective, it seems like Tony Khan kind of all punk side, you know, based oh, off the, based off the press the presser, um, and not like he was really challenging them on things he was saying. He just let him go off. So that's I think that's more of a problem than anything. Uh, do, do do your employees even trust you anymore at this point? You know, I feel who, I who feel, you riding with. I know that re- I already said it. Wrestling operates on a different like kind of rules, but. Leadership wise, what I've been like, what I've learned from my job, you know, after this promotion and talking to people about like, you know, quote unquote, like leadership and shit like that, this sets a terrible precedent. 
Like, absolutely. this is terrible leadership. Letting the person that kind of just shitted on everybody, you know, uh, kind of just, I feel like, you know, he kind of just did a hostile take, like a hostile takeover. Like this guy came in, said, I'm tired of working with stupid fucks. And, you know, I'm tired of working with the children, you know, shit like that. Like, that is you not know, something that you want to bring back. Like that is, that creates a toxic work environment. You know who, you know who Punk is? Punk is Marlo. But you see, Marlo cool though, because he did give back to the kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he wanted to Punk recruit don't give back. <laughs> hey, well, shit, he was going to give him a job. <laughs> Punk Marlo, but, uh, the, the elite, that's, nah. that's the... Uh... The um, what are the other dudes? Hey, the Barksdale's crew, the old news. Punk, Punk came in and said, "This is my, this is my trap now." And um, my thing is, is that but Marlo's successful though. Punk not successful. <laughs> not at his ventures. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably you know, wrestling. You know, outside of wrestling, eh, Marlo, Marlo was kind of moving shit outside the uh, outside the dope shit. I so think he wasn't. He, okay. I'm sorry. You almost <laughs> got me talking crazy about the wire, but I just want to say I think that uh I think it's like season 4 of the wire where Marlo is learning to like when when he learns money laundering, I think that is hilarious. <laughs> Cuz like How did you not he, he he got no, like he got the game in a chokehold and he's still like growing as an entrepreneur. I thought yeah. that was so fire, bro. That nigga was uh you know, he he uh he ditched the middleman and Prop Joe hit the Greeks up. The Greeks said, mm, "You're not that, you know, you're not that experienced yet." And he was just like, "Oh man, this nigga reading the books. Just yeah, we gonna get this money clean. <laughs> we gonna get this money nigga, clean." <laughs> that nigga went to Costa Rica and shit. I love that part, <laughs> but I don't know, man. I think like bringing back punk. I think that would definitely set like a neg- uh, like a negative. Uh, you know, I think I think it would just be bad. We but say I that, understand but, that but, punk is the money, you know, the yeah. money getter. You feel me? We say it, plus nine months is a long time in wrestling time. This whole the whole landscape of what mm-hmm. AEW could be in nine months and who's there and who's not there, who wants out, who's coming in is is pretty. It's going to be interesting to see. But mm-hmm. for now, as of now, for punk, his status is unknown as far as employment goes. Um, Kenny, I believe, was in Japan. Um, uh, he posted photos mm-hmm. of him, and um, uh, well, I, th- I think uh, a Tokyo Game photos. Show. Yeah, he was, so he's out in Japan. A couple, I think, believe, I believe Daniels is out there too. Pat Buck, I believe, and I believe Nakazawa, they're back already on the road, and I believe they were yeah, just trying. They were suspended to, for the... Yeah, I think just because they were in the fight, but I think they were breaking up the fight, so I don't think they're. It was like mm-hmm. a, a big old, you know, suspension like the, like the the workers were. So. The kind of where we're at right now with the, the media scuffle. Hopefully, you know, no more news about that. No more backstage fights. Well, I, I, right now, we definitely got, like, uh, I feel like there's a little less of the resolution. Like, well, I guess AEW... No, it's, just, it's, it's over. Like, I, I guess, like, AEW else. doesn't need to ch- tell us, like, how yeah. long they're suspended. They don't, yeah. have, they don't have to tell us that. But, like, the status of Punk definitely needs to be, like, addressed, like, I feel like if they say that, you know, Punk is released or like, I feel like they're probably like holding out on like releasing Punk or, you know, I think, I think they, something like that. Or maybe they just want to wait for cooler heads. I'm sure if, if, if you know, a hashtag knowing Tony Khan, he's trying to make an angle out of this. If he can get all parties to come together and, you know, work mm-hmm. to get some money, it could work out. Um, yeah, but, but I, I don't think. It, but, I don't know. But if, but, <laughs> as, if, as, if, as, but if it came to hands like that, I think it's going to take as, a lot to get yeah. these guys to work together. That's what as, I'm at as with. Ken, it, you know what I mean? As Kenny, as Kenny said in his little, uh, uh, "We're not in this for selfish gains uh, <laughs> or whatever." You know, niggas is niggas is there to have fun. Um, but I'll say this: um, I definitely think that they don't want to say that punk is no longer going to be there anymore because I feel like a lot of people are going to probably like check out if like punk is no longer with AEW. Um, so yeah. we'll see what happens, man. But that is it so far about the media stuff. We'll, we'll probably hear a little more, uh, a little bit more and more as the days goes by. 
Um, we already talked about it a little bit, but, uh, you know, Punk had his surgery, um, nine months recovery. We'll see what happens when he returns. And a whole bunch of other gets, ooh, excuse me, uh, get well soons. We got Ruby Soho, who got her face busted, uh, busted up uh, sure did. during the pay-per-view. Um, and got dropped in her head. We didn't talk about how she got dropped in her damn head. <laughs> Yeah, because shit, I ain't watching that. For anybody, did, you probably, probably seen it online. Um, Sam Guevara kind of just was very <clears throat> haphazardly just kind of threw her on the ground, dropped her right on her head. Um, mm-hmm. Didn't look good. Because I don't I, cause I don't know how you were supposed to take a bump like that. I think you might have dropped just, her a little later. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know, man. That uh, shit look crazy uh, to me. Uh, Alex Reynolds, what he hurt with now? I don't know, but he was on crutches on dark, so I don't know ex- exactly. No, that's the reason he wasn't in the um. That's why they didn't have, they were in the trio. Turn up, yeah, we need the rematch. Man, that shit probably for an angle for real. Oh boy, probably be, uh, he's a, he's just selling it. Um, I still hate his beard, man. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't even know what that fellow looks like. Uh, there is no frame of reference <laughs> in my mind. What is the um, guy with long hair and a beard? I don't know, man. And then um. We got, uh, yeah, uh, hey, yeah, how you say this shit? Luisa Leon. Luisa, Luisa Leon. Okay, sorry. Um, she was, uh, they revealed her injury on NXT. I don't know if they um, specified the exact injury, though. And they might have, I don't remember, though. But she, I, she said, I believe she said nine months, too, right? Or something like it. Mm hmm. So, yeah, get more uh, soon. I'm seeing in the chat that Jericho might have torn his pectoral. Oh God! Damn, for real? Them, them pictures. Uh, Yo, AEW oh, no, getting it's... their ass kicked with injuries right now, bro. If, if, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't have a list in front of me, but I know shit. We got Christians hey, out. T- Tony Khan said full power. <laughs> uh, Christians out. Um, damn, who else is out? I think there's somebody else I'm missing. Obviously, the suspensions. It's rough out here. Um. Could you imagine they didn't bring MJF back? <laughs> they didn't have, or like, it, Shit. I don't know. I, was Heyman on the show today? Heyman wasn't even on the show today, no. was he? Wow. No. Where's I'll just say, I, I'll just say, man, people really thought that bringing back MJF was the, you know, the over uh, punk coming back. And then, you know, all these returns of fan favorites was going to be the fix. And it's not. And I just want to say, I told you so. Um, because <laughs> it's still what, early it's what, still early i don't want to do that yet it's still early what the fuck is this all? they tony car said yeah man after after all out this is the Bro, best t- roster is go v tony, ah! t- tony cons is a lot of bullshit we know tony Khan's n- bullshit. N- n- <laughs> uh, okay but hashtag niggas said oh katie omega coming <laughs> back yeah what is it they, they gonna run the uh what is it the, the elite whatever shit yeah, all spray the elite. He they might well sign with Osprey at this point. They need something, they need more people, they need more guys. I, they I, don't need more guys, they need guys right. that they need to make their guy, current guys matter. But well, unfortunately, they don't. So, I'm at this point, it's just like <laughs> so just get a new nigga and then still have the same problem. Well, I mean, at this point, they need something, they need something now. It's not like it's some like shit where like. They got time to develop. They did have time to develop. They haven't developed probably as fast as they should have. I mean, I'm like, I'm looking, I don't, you know, I don't want to be tickets guy, but like, oh, look at the tickets for Grand Slam. A lot of damn tickets still available for that show. That's next week. Come on, man. You th- Wait, hold on. You're telling me worldwide phenomenon Action Bronson I don't, is I'm not, not selling that. out that I, arena? I, I like Action Bronson. I like, I'm not going to do that. Um, I New like York. Action Bronson too. World, worldwide phenomenon? Look, man, NXT picked out Ali J and tried to try to sell us on Ali J. <laughs> they didn't say she was a worldwide phenomenon. They tried to make it seem like she was somebody, though. For a local development talent, yeah, whatever. Uh, I don't know. I'm just saying. They not putting her in a match. I don't mind actually Bronson in the match. Honestly, I don't mind a celebrity match. It don't bother me. You, but but Ali J can just be her. Yeah, and then do her song. I'm not. And, and, I'm and, not and, mad at it. I'm too, not mad. That's too much. I'm, I did when did I say that was That's too much? Crazy. I didn't I didn't you, when did I say that? No, because you you just said that they were trying to make it seem like she was a grand old star or some shit. I didn't say when I all saying, they did was put her on TV and then make niggas fall in love. 
<laughs> Did you fall in love with Iris? I think the song worked. I'm gonna make her fall in love. But, like but, act, but Action Bronson getting promo after promo, like it, it was a good pro. It wasn't like it was a bad promo. Both of them were fine. They were cool promos. I'm not mad at it. Um, it gets Hook on the show, which they, I don't. They need him on the show more often. I don't know why they don't have him on the show. Um, because all he could say is, "Be ready." That's fine. That's why Taz didn't say a lot. He can't talk. <laughs> that's that's fine. This nigga Shit had Action it. Bronson talk on. That's fine. You know, you know, do you do get big body beds? Big body beds, they doing shit. Get him over there, cut a promo. There's a reason why he's not doing shit. <laughs> the gimmick is running stale. Like big body, are you kidding me? Oh my lord, big big body, yo. Get big body to cut the promo for Hook. I, uh, I, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate how New York mediocrity can just. Really, just keep it wow. going. Can just keep, are, just can, can just thrive. Regional? regional? This regional beat is crazy. crazy. Niggas asking for big body best on national television, bro. Come on now, that shit wasn't working on Vice Land. It ain't working <laughs> on AEW. It might work. Come on now. Uh, let's get into our Patreon segment, man. Is NXT's one uh, NXT 2.0's one year anniversary, man. It's been a grand old time. Me and Quan got our spreadsheet, hashtag spreadsheet open. And we're just going to give our overall thoughts on the year, man. And then give the grave for some talents. I feel, honestly, I feel like this should be the year uh, or the time where, you know, niggas graduate. <laughs> it, it might but, be. Um, we really don't know how the future is going to go at this point. Yeah. But... If you want to hear our segment, subscribe to Patreon, patreon.com forward slash the A show RNC. You'll hear this and then probably in the next six months, uh, it could be on YouTube, maybe. Um, we'll have to talk about that with the higher ups. But give that $5 a month, man. You can hear all our thoughts uh, in depth about the NXT 2.0 roster. Uh, so, and if you don't, you'll just kind of just be fast forward to um, <laughs> NXT 2.0. On our one year anniversary, you call the shots and we take it. What? The WWE Universe doesn't decide who I defend my championship against. Yeah, they do. When you decide who, you're going to have the power at your fingertips. And how. You're going to be able to choose the stipulation. You're as close as it gets. NXT 2.0, live tonight, 8, 7 central, only on USA. Um, so we got Alba Fire pulling up on Mandy. She seems to be Mandy's next challenger. We got Cameron Grimes uh, and Joe, uh, Cameron Grimes and his voted upon partner, Joe Gacy. Uh, they defeat the Tony D'Angelo mob. We'll see what happens next uh, with Schism and uh, Cameron Grimes. We'll see how that goes. Um, Pretty Deadlies defeat the Creeds uh, in their steel cage match. Uh, Damian Kemp uh, kind of interfered um, and handcuffed. Uh, kind of interfered. He, he straight up interfered and handcuffed that man to the, to the cage. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, this... I'm on my way, Barrett. Um, steel cage could not keep anybody out that's what i said last week maybe i should drop the top you feel me not like a hell in the cell stopped anybody either but you know um all good stuff man Uh, i thought the match was really great um mellows voted partner i mean voted opponent not even on the fucking poll but uh we got solo sokoa defeating uh, Carmelo Hayes for the um, North American title. All right. Bringing it home oh, to the bloodline. Oh, 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 all right. We got, I got a lot of, I got a lot of, <laughs> this came out of nowhere. This is so, um, the, blo- hey, where did... <laughs> the bloodline the shit that... was cool oh, man, until it was on a show that I watch. <laughs> <laughs> now you don't like it no more. <laughs> 
Now I'm not a fan. Now the ones is down, man. The ones down. Wow. Okay. I, um, wanted, to, I wanted to see Von Wagner versus Carmelo Hayes. I just thought that match would be really different. Well, you thought they were going to vote for Von Wagner? <laughs> Nigga, you think your vote mattered on a WWE poll? Actually, I think I think legally they have to. I, I remember I was listening to Bruce Pritchard talk about it one time. Say, he, he, he be lying. Bruce Pritchard, he be lying. But I think they have to, if, it, if it's a poll, I think they have to uh, abide by the fan vote. If I'm not mistaken. My nigga, they about to have everybody on Titan Towers vote for you. <laughs> they, about to put the, they about to put the bots in. <laughs> I could be wrong about that. But um, yeah, man, I think that I, I think the match was pretty good. I was shocked to see Solo win that. I really was. I, so I'm really interested to see how they kind of integrate you know, NXT championships on SmackDown. Is he going to defend that belt on SmackDown? Will, you know, Carmelo have a rematch with him on SmackDown this Friday or, you know, mm-hmm. next the week after? It's really, I'm really interested to see how that goes. Um, Yeah, man, I, for, as far as Carmelo goes, I think this is a good time. You know, we talked about it earlier. I don't know if it was on Patreon or not, but um, this would be, I think this would be a great time to, you know, maybe shift Carmelo's, Trajectory a little Focus. bit, maybe go get go through a, a, a face turn. I think you know a slow build to a face turn. I think he he has a great face offset. I mean, I'm sorry, move set, not offset. He has a, a great face move set. <laughs> I don't know where offset came from. <laughs> a great face move set. So I think um, that'd be interesting. But uh, yeah, that was definitely the shock of the night. I mean, mm-hmm. well, the second, and probably mm-hmm. the second biggest shock of the night, I should say. Yeah, uh, that's good. And then. We get the logo change. Yeah, let's, now, that's where we good. As a graphic designer and somebody that uh, you know knows about printing shit, do you know how fucking expensive it would be to print that two that two point logo with all the colors on like many a shirts? It's fucking yeah. expensive. And you know what? Let's cut costs. You know, we're saving ink by getting rid of the 2.0. And then we're just going with white and gold, which I think is uh, interesting. Everybody's just like, black and gold's back. Uh, yeah, I was like, this is like, that shit not black. I was just like, <laughs> you, ni- you, you niggas are colorblind. Yo, it's um, so funny because I was on YouTube and I get, you know, like the recommendations. <laughs> and the first thing I see is, of course, what culture wrestler? Black, big, big, bold letters, all caps. Black and gold is back in the big ass white ass logo. <laughs> There's no black on the logo. Like the little the little stroke line is black. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't, I don't, so, I don't, I don't. so fucking stupid. But so okay, I let's, we'll, it is what it is. Let's 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 kind of delve deeper, a little deeper into that. Um, what do you think that signifies? Do you think it's just branding, or do you think maybe just branding NXT going to a different another kind of different direction? Do you think the 2.0 experiment is over? I feel. I feel as if right now, until in two weeks, we'll see. I definitely think, like, I will say this, and I know how stupid it sounds, but as long as the show is still called 2.0, I am perfectly okay with this. I think it would be crazy to change it back to NXT. I think it did. I think think the 2.0 name probably should end. I don't think they need that. Name. You sure? You I know what? I don't know. Actually, it don't really. The two point really doesn't mean anything to me. It doesn't. That's why I'm saying. Well, just, I think it's fine to take it off. You're, I think, you're actually. I well, think uh, actually. I think you know the, what you're right. I think the two point at the time was like the signal signify like yo whatever that other shit we're doing. Yeah, we're done with that. But I think we've kind of moved past yeah. that point. Where we don't need to say that anymore. I just uh, my thing is is just like I'm gonna hate the public perception of this. Where it's just like, oh, they're not 2.0 anymore. Oh, they lost again. And it was just like, it's just, we're just doing something new, you know? Uh, yeah. There's no real winning and losing, especially when the ratings are, like, like shooting up. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, they dropped the 2.0. It's fine with me, honestly. Um, I I hope that they kind of, like, keep the color, keep, you know, if the, uh, you know, kind of keep the presentation of the show the same. Um, I think that's why it was, I, I think that's why like the logo is white. So it can still like be bright in there. 
Um, if yeah, the logo, I, was black, I, I, I don't want, like the, I don't want that dingy ass, dark ass dungeon they had previous to two point oh. Yeah. That's depressing as fuck. I don't know whose idea, whose idea was that? Ugh. Yeah. Uh, no more of that. Let's keep like two point presentation. But if there's like less color splashes and shit, I'm, I'm fine. I, I mean, mm. I don't think they would. They did. They just changed the belt. Like they literally just changed the belts. You know what I mean? Yeah. The colorful ass belts. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Right now, I'm not going to be mad at it. Um, just, I just hope the presentation of the show doesn't change right. drastically. Well, like, I okay. just hope like it's not dark as fuck in there. All right. All right. Well, real, real, real brief for the public. Quick, quick, couple seconds about how you felt about NFT 2.0. It worked. I have to agree. It worked. I think that if the mission was to get some new people we never heard of over. I think they did their job. We got, you know, we gave us the Creed Brothers. We got Solo. We got, you know, um, Tiffany. We got a, Wendy. We a got lot a lot of people of in there. Cora. Yeah, we got people that, you know, um, with, especially within a year, I think it's very impressive what they were yeah. able to do. Um, I have to give credit to Shawn Michaels. I know we give Shawn Michaels shit a lot of time. Uh, well, especially, uh, let's, let's not forget with the people that, you know, the backgrounds that they started from, a lot of people aren't indie dudes. These are like, you know, a lot of these people fresh, were like for real sports. Fresh off the street, yeah. yeah like for real sports athletes, and it worked. They made it work. They created a very successful product, and it worked. Um, and I think, what is it, last week, NXT has had like the highest ratings. Uh, what is it, like 700,000? Yeah, it was 700,000 yesterday, so. so I, think seven, seven, I think 726, mm-hmm. I want to say, which is like the highest since like, like last year. So it's, it's coming together, man. Uh, that's all I have to say. And well, I feel like you know it's already coming together. So 2.0. Uh, if anything, I think it worked. Even you know, I know people are gonna be like, well, it didn't work, they changed back or whatever. And it was just like, hey man, we did it, did what it had to do. Let's go into the next phase of things. That's perfectly okay with me. Um, I'm gonna keep most of my thoughts and you know, I don't want to speculate too much of like how yeah, the show is possibly gonna change with the thing. We're just gonna have to see in a few weeks. Um, quick hits, man. We have Fallon Henley defeating uh Last Legend Squash. Is, I shit, damn near a squash. Um, Cora J talks shit about everybody, but she don't speak on Tiffany Stratton, man. Shut your fuck ass mouth, nigga. Don't speak on the uh-huh. queen, man. Um, and then Wendy Chu uh said some stuff, uh, and then Last Legend came out, and then Chu did uh enchanted her inner Aquafina. For some reason, so <laughs> now I am rooting for the fuck out of Last Legend. Oh um, no! And I think this is another good uh, partner to probably tango with. I feel like if Chu can't get a really good match or, with her, or, like something interesting, then I think Lash is kind of dead in the water. Um, it's, it's kind of been a year now. Well, she wrestled um, Cora J next week, so we gotta, oh, we gotta yeah. get to that first. Um, we'll see what happens, man. Uh, I won't say dead in the water, but I'm going to say that uh, the lights are dimming. Um, Stark and Lions defeated uh, Ariana Grace and Kiana James in a match that I, boy, I was watching NXT with the homies and none of us was looking at the TV. <laughs> um, so it's kind of whatever. And then Quincy Elliott debuts. Um, I'll say this. Let's queer wrestlers be the wrestler that they want to be if if Quincy Elliott wants to be this fun you know character that we don't take too seriously that is perfectly fine that is okay I don't feel like you know same with like Big E where it was just like you know since he's black he has to be like militant or whatever Elliott doesn't have to be that you know, to dodge any, you know, allegations or anything like that, or like to not be taken seriously. The people that don't like Quincy Elliott, they had two weeks to come up with their decision, and I think they already fucking made it. Yeah. Um, so like just let him do him. It's perfectly fine. Now, in terms of you know, I it actually being like a comedy thing and you know, like feel good thing. Unless he gets good in the ring, like Andre Chase, which is obviously going to take some time, there's a ceiling here. 
Yeah, but, but yeah, I remember Andre Chase has been wrestling for like 20 years. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I know. Like, as like he like Quincy Elliott can be really good. Well, like they could be this fun character, you know, like that's perfectly okay. But if the in-ring work is ungood, that's where I feel as if there is a ce- there is actually a ceiling over his head. And it's purely due to his wrestling ability. It might not matter. Oh, well, you know, people will cheer, but like the, I would say that like the ceiling is that like he, you wouldn't, if he was in a North American tighter pitcher, no doubt is created because yeah. they're not that good. Like they're not really going to win it. You know, like it, it, it's like that is like, you know, how believable are they with their opponent? Like, I don't think there's much I mean, really keep Seth, up with Seth, like, the next Seth, person. He don't make a career out of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, there was a clear level. ceiling. Yeah, but we, we also mix it up with, you know, main event guys. We, like, you know, I mean, especially that whatever year that was when he was in that elimination chamber. And for a second, you really thought he was about to win that. For like a second. But did he? A, a brief, I thought the boy. I'm just saying. Come on now. I, I, I think there's a ceiling if, like, you know. Uh, oh, yeah, of course. Of course. There, 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 there's, you go, the nigga could have fun. I'm not, I'm not, you know. But when it's time to really bring it, uh, hopefully they can bring it. That's all. Um, Hank Walker, uh, in a very interesting debut, uh, Wade Barrett really uh broke uh really broke I, it down from I like, what, I, like I, I like what Wade Barrett did because you know what because then you don't have to explain why this is a random security guard know how to wrestle <laughs> Actually, yeah they you know they what I mean? had what is it the line the line was there what, what is it the line was like there and then once Wade said that he like blurred the fuck out of it <laughs> yeah and uh and he was like yo like if, reality. he's like he was like if you if you were you know if you're in the, if you're in the pc and you're a new guy you're learning you something to, yeah. you're doing security work so you have the security work you're not ready you, for you the help TV out yet. security yeah, yeah so I, I thought that was really good so they um, make it seem like it's some random guy up the street you know what i mean i would say the psychology of this match i don't know if that's the right word or not but like psychology. this felt <laughs> very this felt very real <laughs> like like with uh with him like taking his shirt off and like yeah. sort of stumbling and shit like yeah that. he did like, a really good job now this, I think about this, it uh did he played I don't know I don't feel as if he's like that amateur ish in the ring but he came off as like a legitimate amateur yeah like he came off the like literally off the and street. I think it takes a I think it takes a great deal of skill skill to come off that way you feel me yeah. um. Actually, this is like a so, very that storyline is a very very old school like. Oh, this is like, want, this, the, this is this not is the, this, uh, this is literally <laughs> this is this is literally you like like this is like literal carnival story like they'd have like you know what I mean the guy doing a test uh, who, who wait, in the crowd wait, what's, wants, that sh- what's that show uh, what's that show that's on stars uh heels. Yeah, it's literally it's literally that. It's this like, is this who, is the heat, who this in the, the crowd storyline can, can take out the big guy and then you know it's a random guy. Oh, I can do it. And he's like, yeah, all right. Well, you come over here. And then you know that's how I, this is yeah. the most. This is literally the most basic wrestling angle, mm-hmm. the most primitive angle you could do, and it works. It works every time. It works. I don't like Santino. how you called it primitive. It is but primitive. This, it is this is very old school. Very very old school. Um. So that's cool. Um, let's get into AEW. Um, we have a Moxley promo. You remember what he said? No, it wasn't a promo. It was a match. You hit a match. Uh, so you had me thinking, yeah, like, what, 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 yeah. <laughs> he had a match against Sammy Guevara. I didn't really care for. Uh, I thought was- that match was bizarre. Um, normally, I don't know. Just ba- ba- basic, ba- basic thinking here. Um, San Guevara is scrawny as fuck, much smaller than Moxley. I didn't like. What why is he? Like why it. is he striking? Yeah, why I is didn't he like that. Not trying to outrun him. Why is he yeah. not just trying to like you know be fast at him, exhaust Moxley, chop at the tree? You know why? Why is he trading chops with him? You know why? Because he sucks. He's not a wrestle. 
But um, like, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I didn't, I didn't like that. Shit. Yeah, I didn't like that. I don't know why they went with that route with that match. Um, the match besides that, you know, I just kind of it's kind of the standard AEW style anyway. They kind of you know strikes and shit. Mm, so I think bullshit. as far as far as the Guevara match, I thought he was very. It wasn't as ridiculous. So I kind of appreciated it more. Like, okay, this is you know not the most ridiculous thing I've seen from Sammy Guevara in the last month. So I was like, okay, this is it's fine. This match wasn't. I won't even say the match was bad. It was fine. It was a fine match. Um, outside of that, yeah, not much. For, I I don't need Ty, Tay Mello and and Anna Jay and Jay and all these matches. I don't. I don't. Give them something. Oh, yeah, give, them, give them something else to do. Put them in the women's. This is, this nigga had them. two women interfering for him. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, this is fucking crazy. Um, yeah, but yeah, whatever. It's watered down. I didn't really care for it. Um, it is what it is. And then uh, in our main event, I'm just uh, putting these together because um, they were the tourna- tournament matches. Um, Danielson defeats Jericho. Now I really like this match. I like this match a lot. I like it much better than their um pay per view match. I thought this. I like the story. Um, I like the whole the foot like thing. I, I thought would, it was great. Uh, um, I would say that I cared about this match a little more than their match uh because it was just like oh you know fighting for custody of Daniel Garcia and I was just like I don't give a shit about that. Um, now they're actually fighting for you know stakes, yeah. so that's cool. Um, and then um, I was expecting Garcia to like interfere or some shit at some point in time, but they just kind of just have I'm happy. I'm happy, I'm happy he did. Fine. Yeah, I think I'm actually yeah. okay with that. I, you know what's interesting? Outside of the Sammy match, I think as far as the tournament matches have gone, they've kind of been like, kind of they kind of kept it straight, straight to the point, which yeah. I think is great. I, mean, I think it's perfectly fine for this um, because this tournament wasn't supposed to happen you know what i mean yeah i kind of want to give him some leeway in you know in, in this in, as far as this tournament goes because of you know the circumstances was completely out of you know tony Khan control and you know the the employees so yeah well, i'm gonna uh, give him a little grace yeah yeah i thought this uh i thought this match was okay uh next um we got jungle boy defeating jay lethal in a match I, did, I didn't even look at my TV screen. For this <laughs> I don't even know why this match Empire. happened. I, I did not care about this match at all. Um, I, my th- my, th- my thing is right now is that I think that no one in AEW was creative for real, for real. Because Sanjay Duck going, well, you're a jungle boy. Jay Lethal's a man. How many times we've heard you're a jungle boy, but I'm a man. Like, can you motherfuckers come up with anything else? Yeah, I'm kind of with you on that one. Um, Jungle Boy, another situation where it's just, it just kind of bad circumstances. Um, I don't know, but where's Luchasaurus? That's where I'm kind of mad with it. Where's Luchasaurus at? Because if you can't feud with a Christian, at least you can wrestle Luchasaurus. But like, is Luchasaurus injured too at this point? Like, I don't. They hadn't even mentioned him really. No, he's just uninteresting. So you can't have a feud <laughs> with two uninteresting motherfuckers. And then they had made him have a match with fucking Sanjay uh, Dutt's people. But yeah, man, this ain't, uh, I didn't really find this uh, too amazing or anything like that. I, I won't say that. Uh, I won't, the match was fine though. I wasn't like it was a bad match. It just. It, there were no real stakes to it. I didn't really see the. There was not, like, there's no were, purpose. Kind of, there was so no heat to it. It just. It was just a match that was happening. Yeah, nothing really came out of that. Uh, so it's whatever. Uh, the tag, uh, the women's tag match. Uh, Britt Baker is losing <laughs> her power because she came on at nine twenty. Yeah, back back to the back to the regular she's, spot. She's she's, lo- she's losing her power. Um, I thought the match was a okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, like uh, what is it? Danielson and Jericho in this match, like a okay. Um, I I don't know. I don't understand having Tony lose here. Yeah, I don't think Tony needs to take that pin. I don't, especially mm-hmm. especially if they're going with the fatal four way route <laughs> on Grand Slam anyway. There was no need for Tony Storm to take that pin. It Absolutely didn't. Not. It didn't really make sense. If it, if it was gonna be just Britt Baker versus Tony Storm, I'd be like, okay. I understand why you did that. Yeah. It, it, and it would still be kind of silly. 
they're going to be running what? a fatal four way with this like the exact amount of like these uh exact competitors and i was just like this is this is the thing where i was talking about with moxley man create a story do not just have matches because you're like well there I, I, there is a there story needs to be with substance that, that's that's totally. the other that's that's the problem. The story isn't about Tony. The story is about JB Hader and Britt Baker. As you know, Britt Baker comes out and hits uh, Tony Storm with the chair. That's more of the story. Mm-hmm. And I feel like Tony just kind of like the uh, the conduit. Is that the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. No, the word. She is. Uh, she's the base. Yeah, the base of the story. Not 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 even the base of the story. She's not, not even, even like base, the main no. part of it. She's An accessory. Like, yeah, like accessory to the story. I'm not good with vocabulary, but like. It's kind of unfortunate. You know what it reminds me of? Remember when um Seth was kind of the opposite? It reminds me of uh when uh, it was uh on NXT when a broad breaker and Dolph Ziggler and then Santos was just there. Yeah. But we're just involved um, in how I, I feel like about that. Tony. <laughs> it's just like Tony just yeah. there and losing and taking the pin for reasons that don't make sense because she just won that belt and she hadn't even successfully yeah. defended it. It is it, really interesting. That was a very curious booking decision from Tony Khan. I don't understand what he's trying to do here. They just, uh, I don't, I don't know, man. Um, next, the main event, or you know, Sonya we want is uh, let's laugh, let's laugh. The MJF promo. This guy sucks, man. I can't. This guy is like, like the, the shadowest promo in the game, bro. It's just. I thought last week's promo was pretty good. This week is back to the old MJF that I didn't like. It's, it's literally the, it's back to the old stuff. I was like, oh, I thought we were, I thought we moved past this, but no, it's it's back to the, the re- the really edgy jokes and then calling people fat and, you know, calling Moxie an alcoholic. It's just like, oh. we back to this again. I, I mean, I get the fans eat it up. I don't. It just doesn't. It for me personally, it doesn't do nothing for me, and it sucks because I want to like MJF. I do. I do like MJF. I just think this is lazy. I think it's lazy work from him. It's lazy, uninteresting, uh, you know. I know I said I didn't really like it, and I rag on a lot of things on this show, you know. Um, But he's just not creative with it. He's not a a, creative hater. He's not a creative Um, hater. He, he's not really innovative in the way that he hates. Like, you know, you can come at Moxley, you know, what is it? Overcoming addiction? Like what? Your, your demons that you overcame because, you know, you got over your addiction is nothing compared to me. And I was just like, well, okay, whatever. Like I, I know he's like supposed to be like the devil or whatever. Um, I guess that's what he wants to go for. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't want to dive any more deeper into it. I thought it was terrible. And then followed up with another uh, the debut of the firm. Um, they come out to a parody of Snoop Dogg, and I think this is absolutely this is a parody of Snoop Dogg. I I thought it sounded it like um. I thought it was, I thought it sounded like um open, open your ears, my brother. That is the sound, What song? Uh is his song not the uh 187 on the on the cover car? Yeah, and you don't that's Dre. I thought it's I think I thought it sounded like um twins. Is that the same beat though? The the uh the fat Joe oh, and Big Pun joint? Is that the same beat? It might be the same beat. It sounded know. it sounded like a bit it sounded like that song uh in my head. Um like even like flow and melody. Um, nah, you know what's even nah, songs even more blatant though. You ever you ever hear Eddie Kingston's song? It's what blatant. Oh, fake ass DMX. That fake ass DMX song. <laughs> That's just terrible. Like AJ, like the the E got AJ the 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 what is it? It's real, but when you shine it, uh, what is it? The Gucci bag fake, yeah. but when you shine the light on it, it gives yeah. off the real. Cause we them niggas had us thinking it was actually fucking uh the DMX joint yeah for a really long fucking time. Uh, I didn't know what is it? What is it? Uh, goddamn, Trick Williams got the fucking fake ass Fabio Four and shit. <laughs> oh. 
But um, oh, so we get the debut of the firm. The promo, yo, this shit's not good. It's so funny. It, it was so funny watching the Discord discuss this promo and then watching my timeline discuss the promo because the timeline was all in. Like, oh man, it's totally so cool. I was, I was like all in for like six of the most uninteresting white people on earth. Nah, I don't do that. I like I like um I like these guys. I like Morrissey. I like I actually do like that group. I, I like the wrestlers individually. I don't know how they're gonna work as a group, but I like the, I do like these all those guys individually. Actually, maybe not. Maybe not so much the ass boys, but <laughs> everybody else. Shit, you for you? They, they, they was your niggas just not too long ago. No, I, I you know what? All right, I do like them. I like the ass boys. I fuck with them. I, fuck with I think them. that uh, what is it? They're the uh, what is it? They was the only niggas over in the group. Soon as soon as Stokely got to them, people reacted when yeah. he was talking about yeah, yeah. uh, Mosey, Moriarty. Lee Moriarty, and uh, uh, they Ethan didn't Page. really care. They they, they the, cared about Ethan Page a little bit. But the thing is, not none of those people is their fault. Like these are people like Lee Moriarty never on TV. Ethan Page is never on. He was on TV, never wrestled. The only people mm-hmm. that really were getting any kind of play are like were on TV. Were the the Gun Club? They have Mad uh, Match. Uh, they have up there. Oh matches. no, I didn't. Uh, to me, it felt like uh, kind of just like a watered down version of what uh, Gacy was doing uh, when he first came in, just being like, you know, I want people to like achieve their dreams or, you know, putting these people together because I'm such a great person. I believe in them, you know, shit like you know, that. I liked, the, I liked about the promo. At least they gave them some kind of aspiration. They, like they, they made it clear what yeah, their goals were. Cool. I liked that. I did like that. I that like he yeah. Said that. He said he wants a pure title. Um, this guy wants whatever the fuck, uh, the All Atlantic Championship. Why I don't know, but he wants the All Atlantic Championship. Gun Club, they probably want the tag championships, and you know that's a and MJF is gold, and then Mosey. Yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe, maybe you could be <laughs> ROH World Champ or some shit. I don't know some TV champ. So, yeah, I, I, don't know, I did man. like I, that part. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't complain didn't, about uh, you know people's not having title aspirations. Lucy said it. Yeah. But no, I, I I like that they had title aspirations, but I felt like this promo with the uh this and the MJF just like back to back is like two like seven minute songs back to back. And they both stink. Um yeah, I don't know, man. And it's just whatever. I like I, I just don't find these guys like particularly interesting, but we'll see if these guys get used um properly or not and if they're not absolutely fucking confusing why they won't be because uh they kind of have to be they're missing a lot of people and also these people are definitely just like cannon fodder for the next person that has their few with mjf and to be like absolutely well, you gotta fight the firm absolutely you get to me a hundred percent oh man we we get we given a lot of stock and championship aspirations to Another group of fodder. Well, maybe we'll be wrong. I don't know. We'll see. I don't think we'll be wrong. I think I think we know the AEW handbook by heart by now. Um, they haven't really switched up their formula. So that is it. Lengthy show. If you are a patron, um, hold on. We didn't even do the. Uh, we we didn't even do the quick hits or the grand slam predictions. Oh. Oh, 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 I am slow, so, slow, I am so, roll. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Quick hits, Hob Squash, um, Ricky Good Starks returns. Ricky. Maybe they'll have a real match this time. Um, I hope so. We got Swerve and Lee defeating uh, Death Richard Triangle. Bro. I I don't know why you would have your trios champs lose, but uh, it is what it is. The acclaim is comes the, out but, and challenges. But this is the, Swerving this is the thing. Though. This is the thing, though. They've been losing. You want to hear these guys' records? No, I don't. Um, <laughs> the acclaim challenges Swerve and Lee uh, at Grand Slam, so we're going to be getting that match. And then Pac got uh, got fucking slumped by Orange Cassidy. <laughs> she sure did. I thought that also was pathetic. The, they're the they're the pizza man at some point. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, there was a pizza man at some point, and everybody kept was just like, "Oh, what's going on?" And I was just like, why are we giving this pizza man a platform? You, you don't want to see a, a small business work, small business to see. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't support small company. <laughs> wow, that's I'm crazy. Buying a, I'm buying a pizza from Amazon right now. Uh, 
Uh, but let's get into these Grand Slam predictions, man. Yeah, um, I see you want to get. I, I see you want to get this over with. All right, what are the? Uh, I mean, shoot, right. was, I, I got the card. I, I got the card up. Um, I got it too. Oh, you got it. Okay. Uh, we got Pac versus Orange Cassidy for the All Atlantic. Uh, I'm gonna go with Orange Cassidy. I'm with you. I think it's gonna open the show. I think you're gonna win it. Okay. Um, the fatal four way between Tony Storm, Serena D, Bathina, and Britt Baker. Um, I don't, I really don't know why Serena D is here, but let's just give it to Tony Storm. I would hope uh, Tony Britt Storm Baker's, uh, Britt Baker gets screwed over by Jamie Hader. Accidentally or, or purposely? Purposely. Our, our, quote, our quote unquote accidentally. Uh, do, you think this is, do you think this is a turn? If this was a turn, why would they have her beat up Tony Storm with the chair? Tony Khan booking. Right. Um, next, we have Swerve in Our Glory. Um, <laughs> it's time to call the, it's time to call the is, audible. Is, it's time to call the audible. Is, hold on. Is, is Swerve in Our Glory or Bask in Our Swerve? <laughs> bask in Our Swerve. What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, Swerve in our glory versus the acclaim for the tag titles. Yeah, get it off them. It's time to put it on the acclaim. They, they at this Swerve, point they deserve it. Swerve and Keith Lee are not holding it down. I, I did like the match with, between. We didn't get to speak on it, but I did like the match between them and Lucha Bros. I did like the match, but um, but I'll tell I'll tell you right now, you might have liked that match. But the crowd was not screaming for that match like they did as soon as the acclaim came out after. Yeah, the acclaim, the acclaim they're over, he man. He didn't even rap. <laughs> the claims are over. I can't even deny it. I think, but yeah, it I is, think it's it going to happen. It, abs- it, it seems like they're leading towards the, the swerve heel turn. Uh, I don't, on Rampage, he, he like he, uh, Max Catcher said he interrupted his rap. They were acting real heelish. So I think that's kind of the goal they're going with. I don't know what Keith's gonna do after that though. <laughs> Was Shit. Keith going heel too? I don't think he is. Um, so <laughs> Shit, good luck. He ain't got no. But uh, mm. we got Brian Danielson versus John Moxley for the vacant AEW Championship. Um, I think Brian, Brian should win this. He should win this, and I think he's he is going to win this. I um, I think I think Moxley going Danielson put out Danielson put out an article saying. You know, being the top guy really isn't all that, man. You know, like the championship matches is, it's not really all that. Like, you know, I like championship matches, but you know, it is, it is what it is. Bro, you know, bro, Brian Gold. He just Brian, wants to wrestle. He yeah. don't care. He don't, but I think another thing that people forget is that Brian Danielson is a massive liar. He did be lying. That boy be capping. He is a great, like, he finds enjoyment in lying. <laughs> he's a troll. God, Brian Dan's is low-key a troll. People don't really talk about how much of a troll he is. He's a troll. Yeah, like, he is a liar. So I definitely think that he is going to beat Moxley and then whatever the fuck happens after that. I, I think Moxley gave it away when he said he's supposed to be on vacation. I think he's going to lose his match and he's going to go on vacation. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they should have gave Brian Dan's in the championship a year ago, but um, <laughs> we're here now, so... <laughs> Let's yeah. get to it. Whatever happens to AEW at this point, man, it is what it is. Plus, but, um, and plus, also, plus, if it is Brian Nelson, I think it's the first matchup. I don't think him and MDF have interacted with each other at all, mm-mm. if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, I think that'd be good, actually a good feud. I don't think it would hurt. I don't think it, I, oh, I don't think it would hurt. You, oh, I, would hurt I don't think it would hurt Brian if he lost the belt. I, but also, you don't want to do the belt switch again. I don't know. You don't. Yeah, um, damn, I didn't think about that. Unless they just don't do AEW, it. AEW just loves having like collision courses because they didn't. But, uh, you know. but you can't plan for this. Case, yeah, plan in for this case, case, you can't do that. You can't do it for this one. Other times, yeah, um, I'll give you that. But this one, you can't. Really. I, de- I definitely think that I know it sucks because my, uh, MJF is never in a championship match. But this is absolutely a time where he needs to be derailed, <laughs> he needs to be distracted. He needs to be doing something else. Um, and I feel like his reasoning can really just be is that, like, I'm not in a rush. 
I have a guaranteed shot. Which is yeah, which he said already, so that's fine. He, mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, that's all I have. We're done. Uh, this is a very lengthy episode. If you are a patron, if you're not a patron, head over to patreon.com forward slash the A Show on I would, I would highly um, advise you to do that. Yes, uh, for five dollars a month, you could get uh, episodes of our weekly shows early. You can get Patreon exclusive shows like Spot Callers, uh, The Evasion Diaries, uh, X8 Diaries, Draft Diaries, Eminent, um, you know, uh, and other miscellaneous wrestling content. And then if you give us an, uh, a nice fat 20, a good old dub, you can join the Discord and, you know, talk shit with us. Uh, we kind of talk about wrestling 24-7 and there's other fun, uh, like-minded, crazy people in the Discord. So uh, you can act or interact with the amazing community that we have forged together. Nah, you know what? Fuck <sighs> that Discord, that bro. Y'all, y'all trying to play me last night. I don't like that either. Quan, Quan, uh, Quan is, uh, I would say, the chat target. <laughs> um, so he doesn't have fun. But I, can, I'm not interrupting, interacting with nobody else. If you wasn't a lot, if you wasn't watch, if you wasn't watching wrestling when it was WWF. You know what I mean? If, if Clinton wasn't president when you were watching wrestling, or not President Clinton, Bush, <laughs> I don't want to hear it. All right. If you want, if you don't like what Quan just said right there, give us a 20, come in the Discord and say, motherfucker, I don't give a fuck about a George Bush. Nigga, uh, nigga talk, and let him have it. Let him know that uh, WrestleMania X, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Rock at. Uh, Mania uh, X7 is actually the hardest match you've ever seen, and it's not long. Um, so that should be fun. Uh, or you can follow Quan on Twitter okay. at the comeback spot. You can follow me, Cyrus, uh, Cyrus uh, on TWR and the A Show, uh, the A Show RNC on Twitter. Our Twitters are in the show notes. If you get lost, uh, we have a YouTube channel, which is also in the show notes if you get lost. And we also have a very great charity that I believe is only, I believe, like 5,000 away. I'm not even sure at this point. We're um, close. We're, we're moving. Yeah, we are very, we're very, moved. very, very, very close. Um, shout out to Cody. So, yeah, shout out to Cody, man. Um, so tap in, lock in if you want to. Um Thank you for listening to the War Report. And if you're a patron, hopefully to see you on the Patreon next week. Peace.